Okay, since last time... Oh, we've got a meeting with Hello him. Hello again. I hear you're the terror of the Badlands. We're getting by. Did you hear about a lost god? <laughs> sure. If you're ready to die. We're not green anymore, Merton. Fine, but the lost god? That is the stuff of legend. I've met a lot of people who wanted to find that temple. At first, I tried to help. No one ever came back. So I decided to stop talking about it. I felt... well... Responsible for their deaths? Responsible? No, they paid for their folly. I just got tired of repeating the same warning over and over. Are we bothering you? You're always bothering me. Let's go. Oh, don't be so sensitive. All right. The temple is real. I've seen it. You have? It was about 15 years ago. But yes, I did. And you didn't raid it? Well, ten of us found the place. When I was the only one left, I came home. The other nine died. Slaughtered. All of them. Still interested? You think we're not strong enough? I don't know. You're the mighty Sorak killers, after all. Maybe with me, you'd have a chance. You'd come with us. I wouldn't let anyone raid that temple without me. You'd never find it for a start. Are you after the treasure? Who says there's a treasure? There's a monster. I, I know that. What is it? That? I don't know. I just want to be there first. I want that on my tombstone. Fair enough. It's a long trip. If you're crazy enough to go, give me some time to pack my gear. Sure. Okay, so we we get to go fight a lost god day. Sure. If oh you're wait. Looking for a sharp blade. I'm gonna I'm go man. ahead and quick save real quick. If you're looking for a sharp blade. I'm so our man. our quest now for let's see where is it. Wait one night. Return to Arwen. At, okay, so we'll track that quest. We're gonna go for the lost god first. So definitely want to save. In case we completely work something up while doing this. Because fighting gods is not something you usually do at level Hello, 10. Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? We'd like to stay for the night. Oh no, 10 gold. Whatever will we do? Uh, as far as spells for fighting a god... Honestly, I think we're good with what we got. We're going to need all of this. Although Flame Strike might not be that useful. Uh, we're going to go with it. And as far as preparing spells for you... Oh, we do have one more spell we can select. Well, I'll be darned. Oh, yeah, because we raised our int. Um, Let's go with... Good, versus, good and Evil might actually be where we want to go with, that, with this. Because that still would not be bad. Ice Storm would be decent as well. Actually, we're going to get Dimension Door. Because I wanted that earlier and didn't have it. So now we have it. Dimension Door is how you get out of trouble. You grab someone next to you and you're like, we're out of this shit. <laughs> and we're gone. We don't have to deal with it anymore. We're ready to take on that quest, Arwen. Good for you. Did you change your mind? No, no. I'm ready. Let's go. Uh, hey, we're supposed to go together, remember? Yeah, about that. I have to go to Copran first. Oh, unfinished business, maybe? You know exactly what business. So how about the quest? Your map has a location called Care Ellis. It's just an old Manicalon name. Maybe, but there's a ruin. You'll see it. It's Termarian. I'll be waiting for you. What if we don't come? Then damn the lot of you. What if we get there before you do? <laughs> As if you could. See you there. He's crazy. We're going with him. So are we going to 
Okay, we're going to care Ellis. Okay. So he's got to do some stuff in copper and blade, and then, oh, okay. So I see what he's, what they're wanting us to do. I think. It was the the pacing of it is a little bit weird. You'd think that he'd want us to go with him to Copperan and then to Carellis the way it was phrased, but I'm fine with either one. I'm good with murdering the lot of them. Okay, so Hickory Corner Wood, that's going to be another quest. So where is... Car oh, it's way out there. Okay, so we will go ahead and just teleport. And that will get us close to it. That way we can just walk there. I'm not sure whether it's from Copperan or from here that's going to be closest, though. Because it doesn't show the pathing to it. It just shows, hey, it's there. So let's see, up to the surface. And yeah, still nothing we can do in there. It's just permanently locked off. So any loot that there was in there is long gone. Oh, okay. I was about to say, that was a little bit weird looking. Yes, leave the area. There really is nothing left for us in a lot of these areas, so we're just kind of like just trucking along. So, I'm fine with it. It's just, I hope we don't get like random encounters in the actual areas. So let's see, does it show any enemies? Nope. Okay, so downhill. We already got all the loot we could. So we do have just several side quests just kind of kicking around. And with, what was it, 20 intelligence, we should be okay to cast as many spells as we want. So yeah, he's going there. We've got a quest there. We've got a quest there. And I don't remember where the other quest was. We do have one more. Somewhere out here. So, Temple of Lost God, Wartime Treasure, Search the Lava Forest. Okay, so yeah, it is over here. Yeah, that's another one. But we're going to Karelis first. We're going to fight ourselves a god. Yep, start traveling, normal pace. Probably going to get random encountered in here. But it shouldn't be too bad. We are going to do a good chunk of this. This will probably be a longer episode if we do get an encounter out here. Yay, another scroll of magic missile. Sweet. Frightened by the party. We scare things off. That's what we do. Ah. That's how he talks, right? Kind of cranky. Kind of like... Off-brand Wolverine. I kind of wish whenever it said, like, carves a statuette with a piece of wood, you'd actually get an item for that. Because that's one thing I like to do in... If the GM lets me, is I like... In some games, I'll like to do things where I, like... We'll sit there and just try to craft things over time and then try to enchant it myself by casting stuff into it. A lot of GMs are pretty receptive to that. Some are not. Even if it's just making it so I can do a casting of, like, a healing spell once a day. Oh, he did meet us here. Nice uh, bedroll there, my dude. Okay. So we need to talk to you, probably. See? I told you I'd be here. What have you been doing? Catching up with wildlife. It used to be my thing. Camping in the Badlands? Really? Yep. Shadow Tamer, they called me. Fine, Shadow Tamer. Where's the temple? Behind the mist. Behind the mist. How cryptic do you want to be, my good sir? So yeah, he is an essential... Just double check that there's nothing glowing out here. 
It is just the campfire. Okay, so in we go. Behind the mist, eh? Okay. So exit the mist. Okay, so we went in. This is where we were. I think. Or did we... Or is this where we were? Uh-huh. I think this is where we were. That's where his camp thing was, and this is where we went through. Yeah, that's where we went through. So we just kind of come over to this, and we explore. So make our way uh, through the mist. Go ahead and be cautious. Maybe we can get an ambush on something rather than ambushing us. Us loud, stompy boogers. So it's basically, I think, a maze of some sort, is it not? It looks like it. It looks like it might just be like a non-maze. Just wander through the mist. Is that... That is a path up. Okay. That didn't look like it was passable for some reason. But yes, we are staying stealthy as much as possible. Because I have a feeling we are going to get... Not necessarily ambushed, but we are going to have to fight in here. Just taking it small steps at a time. Okay, so we have the high ground here, I think. We're through the mist. Don't get too cocky. This is where my friends died last time. Just saying. What skills does he have? He's got two long swords. They're just normal long swords? No, they have radiant damage. That well that one has radiant damage. This one is just a normal one. And he's got rope grapple. So I think he's I think he might actually be a unique character. So F5 and jump across. Reason we F5 is in case there's just enemies like right across here that are gonna <laughs> spot us immediately. So this is the temple, I think. And I'm hearing something moving. I think we have earth elementals. There is definitely something moving. I can hear the little <laughs> noises of something in the area. Yeah, I can hear it. It's it's up here somewhere. I don't know if you guys can hear it on your end cuz I do keep the audio a little bit lower so I'm not fighting with it with my voice. Okay, the zealots. So I'm going to actually have him Target a creature and attempt... Okay. So who's getting spotted? Let's do Sacred Flame then. Perhaps if you tried to be loud instead. So it's four zealots. That's what I was hearing. I was like, I, I could hear something. Just wasn't quite sure what. But yeah, the reason why I went with that is because we don't need like a direct path to him to actually hit it. So you can still cast a normal spell with that as well. So go ahead and shield of faith him. And get moving up here. You guys are going to fight the zealots. Get spotted. Yep, go there. So uh, we almost can see the other two. They're just going to be over on that other side. 
So what we don't want to do is use up all of our spells. I am going to use some of them. But I'm not going to be like doing fireball, fireball, fireball kind of stuff right now. Because I have a feeling this is going to be more of a battle of kind of an endurance kind of thing. Can you actually see them from there? No. And let's see. End turn for you. I don't mind you getting spotted, but I want you a little bit further back. No. Yeah, I knew you were going to get spotted anyway. It's fine. And they have a hard time climbing stairs, by the way, if you didn't notice. So as far as spells that we're going to be doing, let's go for Chill Touch. Yeah, four Zealots is going to be a bit of a pain. Because I think they get plus six. So attempt to pull him. Oh, it succeeded. Okay, he succeeded against Rope Grapple. That's fine. You are going to... Oh, you actually have 102 freaking life. You're a hoss. Okay. We're still not going to have you on the front lines because I'm more confident in my characters than I am in him. And you... Is that put you in... No, it doesn't quite put you in melee range. So go ahead and move up. What went wrong there? Okay. As far as what's close, poison... Oh, you're still not close enough for poison spray. You are close enough for this. <laughs> for a whiff. Wow. In turn. I probably should have set him up to do his uh, attack on his melee attack. So I can see the other two over there. They are... Dang. Uh, let's try to stun one. Run while you can. So it did get stunned. In turn, we do have, I believe, two of those per day. And since you're going to just... You have to get spotted to actually fight these guys, unfortunately. I would like you to stay hidden, but this is a large open field. And it's not going to really do much for us to keep you hidden. And as far as inventory goes, let's go ahead and throw on some good arrows. Let's go for Tiger Fang. Or let's see, which one do we actually have a decent amount of? We have Deep Pain. There you go. Con save. Still took some damage. 9 and 16. That's nice. And turn. So that guy is. He's hurting a little bit. He's stunned currently. I think as far as spells go, we want to be continuing to do kind of just focusing in on him. A fine stroke. Nice, we got a critical hit on that. Groovy. And you have you only have 16 AC. That is bad. That is worse than my rogue. So let's grapple that in. And end turn. Oh, it's going to pop up underneath oh. our... Oh, no. It, did it knock him prone? No, it didn't. <sighs> critical miss. As opposed to critical hit. So does that just have, like, infinite oh. range? Yeah, it pretty much just does. <sighs> okay. Oh. So, yeah, they're just piling up in here. That's hilarious, but... Oh. Slightly annoying. Ooh. Does maintain concentration. 27. So they've got a plus 8. These are higher level than the other ones. So time to start bashing this one. Yeah, they're going to keep doing that little swim through the nonsense thing. So we do want to take a short rest here as well. After this. So let's go ahead and action surge up. We need to thin their numbers. I said we need to thin their numbers, not keep missing frequently. Ah! There you go. You are going to focus in on this one. Huh. 
Damn. Come on, you can you can do some damage to it. There you go. Uh, we're not gonna go for a strike. It's resistant to bludgeoning damage. Yeah, we'll abort that in turn. As far as you go, I'm not sure exactly what we want to cast with you. I think we actually just want to attack with you. Yeah, go for go for the pokies. A palpable hit. It did save on the um yeah, it, it saved against the poison damage. Which is kind of sucking, but eh. In turn. Let's go for yeah, we'll just keep doing chill on this one. Wait till the next one. In turn, that's almost dead. Do I risk taking him up there? I really, really don't want to. In turn. Oh, it's got it's got a shock attack. It's got shocking grasp. <gasps> Basically have a shocking grasp asshole right there. Okay. And yeah, they're going to keep just... Oh, hi. How you doing? Um, yeah. We're going to shield up. We do not want to get hit by those on him. So we... Yeah, we 100% need to be... Casting bigger spells. I was expecting them to not be quite this rough, but... Yeah, they're a lot tougher than I thought they were going to be. Okay, so that one's dead. Let's get up between them. Focus in on this guy. He's trying to unstun himself. Although, do we... Yeah, we're still going to use stronger spells, but I think I am going to have... These three right here gang up on those. Bend the knee or perish. No, don't use up all your things. Cast spell, you're going to do... Let's do a level four healing word. Or level three. I think level three. Are you really out of range? Wait a minute, who did... Oh, it's yourself that's low. Go ahead and cast it on yourself, then. I thought they hit Peter. But apparently, I guess my brain was just wrong. So you... Shoot this one. I said shoot I'll this one, but... Yet. Okay. No longer shielded. Let's go ahead and we'll show this thing what for. We'll go for a... Actually, we could Dimension Door out of here. But I think what we want to do... Yeah, just drop a Wall of Fire... Like so. So now that thing is regretting choices. And we're going to just stab it in its face as many times as possible. Keep at it, my good friend. Oh, and he's doing his radiant damage. Sweet. Okay. It's going to go after you. Thankfully, you have 22 AC, so, yep, you're still going to get hit. Yep, cast the shield. Block. Thank you. Attack it. It does resist slashing, but at the same time, it's still in the fire. It's like, I'm moving out of the... No. <laughs> it was trying to move out of the way, but it failed horribly at that. Okay, so that still tried to con save. So we'll bash you with our uh, bludgeoning. There you go, it's dead. And focus in on the zealot. So we don't need to waste too many more spells. We've used a couple. We used firewall, but... I thought it burrowed or something like that. I was like, wait a minute. What you doing there? Uh, keep bashing this. Do we go for a strike on it? 
Yeah. Why not? You cannot defeat me. Okay, so it is now stunned. Even with advantage, we missed. Lovely. And that succeeded at the con save. Still took a bunch of damage from it. And let's go for firebolts on this thing. Because that thing is just doomed. And turn. And do we just... I think we move here and attack this. Just finish it off before it gets a turn, if at all possible. You yes. Have them now. And in turn. It's still failing its con saves. Yes. Ha! So as long as it keeps failing those, we'll it'll stay stunned and we can just beat the tar out of it as much as we want. We get advantage on every swing. If, I think if we hit a 19, we also get a crit. That must have hurt. So we're just beating the tar out of it while it's on the ground. There you go. Victory is ours. We did it. Yeah, we did. There's still the big one in there. Sure. It's not over yet. This is weird. I don't recognize any of these symbols. Was there really a lost god? I think I know what this was. A temple of Arivad. Aenar, protect us. Isn't that one of the names of the Sorak god? Not before the Cataclysm. Arivad was fierce and just on Tiamar, a god of inquisitors. Before he was corrupted, his good side became Enar. His bad side was absorbed by Sortar, and they became one. The name of Aravad is cursed. This place is evil. This is just stone, transported here from Tiamar. Whatever took place within these walls happened a millennium ago. Such evil never fully disappears. Well then, let's clean the place up. So definitely want to save that. And did it just... Nope, it's still burning. <laughs> it's still the burning crusade. Oh, and we do have a long rest. Okay, so I didn't even have to save my stuff for that. Okay. Cute, 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 cute. So that's probably our way in. Just double... Actually, this might be our way in as well. Let's go ahead and save real quick. Cautious over here, see if we see anything. Nope, it's just... That just seems conspicuous there. So we're going to take our long rest, because it offered it to us, so we might as well. Here I was saving my spell slots, because I was expecting another, like, battle of attrition here. Watch it. Watch us go in there, start using our spells on the big one, and it turns out there's, like, five things and a god at the end that we have to face. We've beaten that kind of situation before, but I don't want to. Okay. So the only thing we can interact with that is that. So in we go. Staying stealthy if at all possible, but... The War of the Gods. Which is what... Reorder. Read. Okay, the Schism of Aravad. The primal gods formed a balanced ensemble when mankind rose on Tiramar. Arun was the first, Merake with them. Pakri and Aravad came into being with consolidated the quartet. Arun rose. He was higher than the others, the first and the mightiest. Arun stood aside. Okay, so I think we have to do these in order. So we do the... Square in the bottom. Arwen just stay back. Yeah, these are things we can step on. And I think we want this formation as well. 
So that lights that one up. Stupid. But anyway, basically you've got to do them in order, but this looks like it should be like those two spots down to those two. No. It's completely just let's be dense about this. So that goes up there. We go ahead and step on maybe this one? Nope. Okay, it says... <sighs> maybe I'm not figuring it out. But yeah, we get that. We get this one. We go like that. You see how it's supposed to work. So what if you just... Maybe it's like this? Maybe it's this one? Then he steps off of that. Okay. You come down here like that. You step off. Yeah, I don't like this puzzle. It's a bad puzzle. If you're going to do it this way, some piece of advice. One, make this more comparable in size to this because you're starting off with the bottom right square this makes it look like you're supposed to be over here and you're just doing it in sequence this should have a dot right in the middle up there this should have a dot in the middle you should have four dots on all of these except for the final one if you want this to be designed like a logical freaking puzzle but there we go we got it we got the puzzle Okay, I never want to do a puzzle in this game again. <laughs> no, that's tacky, but I really, really don't. Go ahead and get cautious, everybody. We have... Ooh, a big boy. <laughs> but that's going to be on the next episode.